Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another review. Today, I'm going to review The Life of Others. The Life of Others is a 26th German drama film written and directed by Florian Hecker von Donemark. This film was released in German on 23rd March 2006. Major actors of this film are Rich Muhe as Judge Wiesler, Dina Gede as Christa Maria Selen, Sebastian Koch as Gerd Damon, Urish Dukor as Anthony Grubitz, Thomas Timmer as Bruno Hepp. In 1984, East German, Judge Wiesler, codenamed HGWXX7, was ordered to spy on a playwright, Gerd Damon. Wiesler bring his team to Draymond House and set up all the surveillance equipment in an attic and began reporting all the activities done by Draymond. Draymond had a girlfriend, called Krista Maria Selen, who is an actress. After that, Draymond decided to publish an anonymous article in Der Spiegel, which is a West German news weekly. Draymond's article accuses the state of concealing the country's elevated suicide rates. Since the relationship between West and East German is not good, so after the article was released, it angered East German authorities. The Minister of Culture, Bruno Hepp, told a subordinate to catch Silen and start asking her question about the article. But Silen did not tell them anything. But when Wessler asked, she told everything and pointed out where German hired a typewriter. After they released Silen, they went to German's apartment to search the typewriter but they could not find it, since the typewriter was taken by Whistler. Celia felt guilty, she ran to the road and is hit by the car. She died in Draymond's arms. After all this happened, Whistler became a postman and Draymond no longer an author. But he wrote a book for HGWXX Troop 7. The analysis for today, I'm going to talk about the principle of the firm. There are three parts of it, which is reputation, similarity and development. Here is an example of reputation. These are the scene where Whistler keep asking the number 277 prisoner and repeating the same question. And here the scene shows similarity between Zealand and the prisoner while they're sitting on a chair. And here is the development of this film. The main character, Judge Whistler. In the beginning of this film, he is a cool and strict captain. After doing on an action called Laszlo, which refer to Draymond, then Whistler start to listen and record everything he heard. But as time passed, Whistler changed his mind. He felt pity and sympathy toward Draymond and Silen, so he decided to help them. Whistler did not choose to obey the country rules and his boss order, but he chose to follow his heart to help Draymond. At the end, he lost his job, from a captain demotion to a postman. That's all for the analysis part. Actually, in my opinion, for the first hour of this film, I did not know what message this film is trying to deliver to the audience. I was so confused and thought that this film was just wasting my time. But after that, I started to realize what the real meaning of this film is about. What it is trying to deliver to us, and what is happening to the German at that time. Throughout this film, I get to know back to the time how dangerous being discussed West and East German in public, and how difficult for the citizen to speak out their own voice. It also shows us how easy a person will change their mind, even if the law enforcement and rule are strict. Whistler chose to follow his own mind, he started to trust Raymond and help him, to avoid being caught by the police. Although he sacrificed his job in the end, but I think he did not regret what he did in the past. In conclusion, The Life of Others is a deep and meaningful movie. Most of the time, you need to think and find out what is happening in the firm. At the beginning, you might feel that this film is boring just like me. But please be patient, as time passes, you will slowly find out that this is a meaningful and amazing movie. And the actors also did a great job. Hope you guys can watch it when you are free. That's all for today. See ya!